G'day, my name's Darren Doherty. I'm from uh, Bendigo in Vic Southern Australia, Victoria, Southern Australia. And uh, what we wanted to do today was to do a landscape modelling exercise where we demonstrated um, key line design and also brought elements of broadacre permaculture. So key line is a design system that was developed by PA Yeomans in Australia in the 1940s and 50s. It's a design system that uh, focuses on water harvesting of dry land landscapes, um, you, uh, harvesting rainwater off dry land landscape surfaces, and then storing that in um, ponds which are largely in interconnected, and um, that, which are then used in uh, the, uh, the dry months for irrigation purposes uh, around the farm by gravity. Um, Yeomans also developed a um, system of soil renovation where using a rigid tined non-inversion plough would actually aerate the soil and then use grazing animals to harvest the extra growth that one got from, the, um, from these plants having uh, deeper root systems from uncompacted soil and then use the grazing animals to harvest that, uh, that grass and then increase the amount of um, roots, uh, uh, root death in the soil which would increase the amount of carbon build up in soil from, um, from the roots decomposition. Doing that in, over a succession of years enabled him to build up um, up to you know, 15, 20 inches of deep rich topsoil. It's a very, very effective system, low cost, gravity, and will last pretty well forever if it's well maintained. It's a classic regenerative permaculture system. So what we might first do is um, look at uh, this landscape here that we've created. Now, we're on a beach because that's nice and easy to excavate and um, also just shows us a sort of a microcosm of, of our whole landscape from mountain to sea. So you could look at this as well as being part of the uh, hydrological cycle. We start with this sort of classic um, form of mountains and then hills that come off the mountains. We've got the valley system, which is a uh, creek, then coming into, so creek off the hills, then coming down into this dry, into the river, running out through, this might be the Mississippi, for example, running out through the, um, through some hills and lower ranges, tip often in an arid zone because none of the water that's going through this river is actually being sourced from this floodplain. It's all being sourced from the higher country here, right? So it comes down through here and then um, fans out again, basically um, out into um, like a delta and then that ends up being in the sea itself. So right here would be, um, you know, the Mississippi Delta, okay? And uh, only we haven't put in um, any levees here. It's actually operating like it should. It's a beautiful spreading um, system that's depositing all of its material and doing, it, doing so um, and dispersing all of its energy of flow. Just like in um, our body and in trees, we have what's seven orders of drainage. Now... The first orders of drainage um, we can actually see happening just with the sand falling off that little uh, piece there. That's called the sheet flow. So this is rain falling. There's the sheet flow. Then the sheet flow comes into the, uh, starts to form into little rills. Now, so we've got the first order of flow, which is sheet. Second order of flow is the, um, is the rill. Third order is when it comes into the runnel. The runnel concentrates right here at the at a point in the valley called a primary valley, um, which is Yeomans, PA Yeomans called the key point of the valley. And you can see that quite clearly here, that the land the landform here is obviously con convex, and then it comes down into being concave. We can just move the sand there, and it will always go to that point. Well, it sits there for a minute. The water will actually sit there for a minute. You will get some residence time. And often what you'll get, that'll be the first place in the, in the uh, landscape where you might get a bit of soil deposition. And um, 
where the soil deepens and you might get a bit of a green spot there for some time. Often what you'll find is right at those points in the landscape, that, like around here, there'll be an oak tree because the oak's got enough water there to invest in that place. So we get to there. Now, then from the, that order, then it comes down into the creek. And then the creek, fourth order, fifth order river, sixth order, delta, seventh order, the blue stuff, the ocean. So our heart's like the sea or the ocean. Right. So that branching will go out. And the same with if you've got a tree. A tree will have up in its branches, it'll have all of those uh, seven orders going through to the sea, the trunk being the river, right? And then going back out through, through where the sea germinated back out into the root system, which has the same seven orders, this, the dendritic pattern. You cannot have any more than seven orders, and it doesn't just, that's uh, totally replicated through all of nature, mycelium, everything. That is incredible. It is incredible, yeah. All right. So, so what, we've, so what we want to do here is, um, I'll just go through those um, landscape identifications for us again, is that, say that, um, well, Yeoman's, Yeoman's looked at this and said, all right, well, this is the, the horizon of the landscape. We're standing down here as a little bitty person looking up, and uh, all we can see is the horizon of the landscape. You've got it all around us here. When we look back at the ranges there, you can see that uh, that's our horizon, the main ridge. Now, like you said before, that's like the, the top of the watershed. Water is either falling this way or it's falling that way, right? It will all end up in this river system though, right? Um, so that's what he called the main ridge. Now, what it, the next, next part of it was right here, which is uh, known as the saddle for obvious reasons. Now we have a succession of saddles in this landscape, hill to saddle or mountain to saddle. Then we go down into here and we have a succession of ridges and valleys called the primary ridges, primary valleys, primary ridge, primary valley. And there's a succession of those off the main ridge. Think of it in terms of a, uh, the roof of a house. You have the roof like so, the gable. You have the ridge capping, which you could say is the, ri is the main ridge. Then off that, you've got all of the corrugations. Primary ridge, primary valley, primary ridge, primary valley. Exactly the same. And then um, it comes down into a gutter. I, I do this in my courses where I say, all right, well, here is, uh, here's your mountain ranges. And you've got, uh, you've got a saddle in each in between and then you've got these successions of main ridges uh, primary ridges and primary valleys each one with a little key point where the land shape in the webbing there right where it where it goes to being webbing changes from being convex to con to concave yeah we've got other points in our human landscape the beach is a good place to illustrate them i might do one hit right now where we, um, if we lie back, say I had my um, budgie smuggler, as we call them at home, <laughs> my uh, togs, or thong, I think you call them here. I'd be coming down in a bit of a, uh, a join like that, or like a bikini. I've got a, um, a uh, primary ridge here, primary ridge here, and all of the water will actually end up in here. So if I, if I poured water on my belly right here, it would end up in here, right? Yeah. So we've got a bit of bigger belly than what it might end up with one day. Now the other place is right here, on this, on the, on your chest. That's ostensibly like your your hills here, and then you've got the sternum, right? So if you go for a swim in the beach, you'll uh, and come back and lie down. Even your sweat will actually gravitate to that point. Now that's that's what these saddles are. So we these patterns continue to replicate in the landscape. Yeah, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. 